Hi there, so today I want to talk about a couple of things that have always been like, I don't know, minor annoyances with Business Central when I'm developing. The one is the lack of a universal variable, so a global variable that is known across all objects at any point in a particular session of the, of the system. And the other is the fact that there's not really a, an on activate function with Business Central. So if I go, for example, from page A, I open page B, I do something on page B, and I return to page A, I don't have a sort of a got focus trigger or event that I can call to, to do stuff when, when focus returns to the original the calling page. And I do think it would be useful to have that, but unfortunately Microsoft has given us limited options for that. We do have one or two options though, and I think it will be worthwhile to explore those. So let's get into the code. Right, so our first option for simulating some sort of universal variable is to make use of a single instance code unit. And this works slightly differently to a normal code unit. When we call a normal code unit, it will be instantiated. It will run whatever code has been asked from it. So it could be running the entire code unit or it could be executing a particular function within the code unit. Once that is complete, it will die. So any variables that were declared within that code unit will also die and they will contain no value the next time we run the code unit or we call the code unit. Single instance code unit slightly different. It gets instantiated the first time it is called or triggered from somewhere. And then it remains active until we close the session. So any global variables that we may have declared within that single instance code unit also remain valid and active and their values are maintained regardless of where we are in the application. Right, so how do we do this? We start by creating a code unit with a number and a name. So I have called mine single instance code unit, very unoriginal. Set the property single instance equals true. Declare some global variables such as I have done down here. And then we need to have at least two functions. The one is to set the variables and the second is to retrieve the variables. So my first one here, set variables. It is receiving, in this case, two parameters which correspond to my global variables. And within the code, I am assigning global text and global num to receive the values that have been sent to it from the calling function. Very straightforward. The opposite to retrieve them. So when I am now in some other object and I want to get back my variables to use in some or other function, I make a call back to this code unit using the get variables function. And this time I provide my variables as var type variables, which means that when the function has finished executing, these incoming variables will contain the updated values and they will be returned to the calling function and I can continue to use them in whatever way I choose. So a very, very straightforward process from here within my code units or with, sorry, within my function, I have these two statements to update my parameters from my global variable. So whatever is now currently stored in the variables global text and global num will be passed back to these variables, which will go back via the function call to the original calling function. And that's my way of passing things from one place to another. Now, how do we use this in practice? To illustrate, I have created two things. So the first is what I'm calling my experiment page. And in this, I have created two global variables here. They are called capture text and capture num. And I'm using the screen to update them. So I'm going to use these two input fields, input controls, to place text and value, a, num a numeric value, respectively into capture text and capture num. I'm then going to use an action here. This is the action here. Just ignore anything else on the page. 
And what this is going to do, I have my on action trigger. I am declaring my single instance code unit, ACU. And I am calling the function set variables, sending to its capture text and capture num. So whatever I capture on my screen will now be passed into my single instance code units. I'm then going to open another page so that we can illustrate how we receive these variables. The other page is this one over here. And what I'm doing with this is I've created an action as well so that we can easily track what goes on on the code unit. I've created an action here that says get variables. Again, calling my get variables code unit. It's declared down here in the globals. I have got a bunch of global variables declared here. In this case, I have called them gText and gNum. gCount we're not really using, but there it is. And I am going to call the function getVariables using those parameters. They will then come back when they have returned. They should have contained the values that I sent from my first page, and I'm going to pop them on my screen so that I can see what happened. And let's compile that and see if it works. Okay, so here's my first page. These are my input blocks. So let's say, hello from the, the ship. Let's put a funny value in there. Then I'm going to go to my actions. And I'm going to say, send via single instance so what this should be doing is calling my set variables function opening the page and on this page i now have the get variables function so if i click on that it will now be calling again my code unit and retrieving those variables hello from the mothership thank you very much say okay and this is now just to display all of them so that's that's my string again and that is the numeric value that I captured, you can see it over there, and that is the count. So I can run that again. It's variables, hello from the mothership, and then display all of them, and you'll see that my count has now gone to two. So that is a way of passing variables from one page to another. I know this is not necessarily the best example because I could have also done this by using a send ahead function from the from the sending page to the receiving page but let's say for example I went from here and I opened a third page ran a code unit ran a report I could use those same functions again to once again retrieve the variables and send them on uh, to the new object and make use of them there okay so that is how we use a single instance code unit really simple but could be very effective definitely a little more efficient probably than trying to say write something out into a table and then retrieve the table so we don't have to go near a SQL server it happens all in memory and yeah that's it so let's see what we can do with the next option